Good morning, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron, I'm here to show you this 2017-17 plate, Renault Clio, 1.5 litre DCI S Dynamic with nav, uh, finished off in Arctic white. First things first, we're gonna do a quick walk around of the vehicle. Then when we get back around to the start, I'll show you the car once again, but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest, as we're using to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop, and we'll give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what prepared to do to them prior to sale. This vehicle individually is a two owner from brand new car with full service history now we're back around to the start i'm going to zoom back in and we'll look at the car panel by panel so the near side front wing looks in good condition both near side doors look good and the near side rear quarter looks good near side front alloy good condition alloy light corrosion to the outer face near side front tire approximately four or five mil moving down the near side all panel work looks in good condition car has had a quick wash and i'm battling the rain but will be professionally revalidated prior to its new owner taking it home Near side rear alloy, another nice condition alloy, but with light corrosion to the diamond cut face, and the near side rear tyres approximately three or four mil. Looking back down the near side now, from rear to front, near side rear quarter looks good. Both near side doors look good, and the near side front wing looks good. Moving around the rear of the car now, I'm going to check out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. As you can see, other than one or two tiny marks, just to be touched in best we can looks in really nice condition tail lights and tailgate look in good condition rear screen looks good and along the roof lining looks in good condition as well looking down the offside of the car now from rear to front offside rear quarter looks in good condition both offside doors look good and the offside front wing looks good offside rear alloy another nice condition alloy only a little bit of corrosion on this one one of the better ones offside rear tire approximately three mil again Moving down the offside now, from rear to front. Again, all panel work looks good. A couple of light marks just to be buffed off best we can. Offside front alloy, same again, a nice condition. Light, uh, light curbing just along that edge and light corrosion, but nothing major. Offside front tyre, approximately four or five mil. Looking back down the offside now, from front to rear. Offside front wing, good condition. Both offside doors look good, and the offside rear quarter looks good. Moving around the front of the car now, we're going to check out all lights and grills in the front bumper itself. As you can see, all lights and grills look in good condition. And as for the front bumper, for the age and mileage of the car, looks in really nice condition. One or two light marks just to be touched in best we can prior to sale. But other than that, looks in good condition. Final panel to look over is the bonnet. As you can see, paintwork on the bonnet's in good condition. There are no major dents or scratches that I can see. But again, you expect one or two light marks along the front on a car of this age of mileage, just to be touched in best we can prior to sale. Before we make our way through the interior, we'll check out the front screen. As you can see, no major damage on the screen. Can't see any major chips or cracks, and there's barely any surface markings. You do get one or two odd surface pepperings, but other than that, looks in good condition. Now we're going to make our way through the interior of the car, starting in the boot. As you can see, nice sizable boot on these Clio 60-40 split folding rear seats. Old carpets and plastics other than light wear and tear look in good condition. Those mats, if they fall this car and fit, are bonus as we don't supply floor mats with any of our cars. Parcel shelf also looks in good condition, only light wear and tear. And the same goes for the plastic trims underneath the boot lid. Moving through now, moving through the rear. Rear door cars look good. And there you have the half leather, half cloth rear bench, three factory headrests, three three-point seat belts, ice fix fittings to both outer seats. Rear bench looks in good condition. Headliner throughout looks good. Both the backs, uh, backs of the both front seats look good, and the rear carpets look good. Moving through the front, front door cards look in good condition. Front carpets look good, and there you have the front seats again, half and half. Bolster still firm, holding their shape. No excessive wear, no rips, no tears, no cigarette burns, no traces of any odours in this car. Passenger seat's just as nice, if not a little bit nicer. No signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all. So we'll start the car up and run you through as much of the spec as I possibly can. So we have full electronic windows with the electronic adjustable heated and power folding side mirrors. A couple of the white controls just to the right hand side of the steering wheel there. Radio controls just on the stalk to the right of the steering wheel. We do have cruise control with the um, adjustment for it on the wheel and then down in the center console as well. But as we move up the center console, you've got a leather armrest, two usable cup holders. As we've been over, cruise control adjustment there with the eco mode, 
five speed manual transmission. You've got the key card and keyless uh, ignition entry. Um, climate controls in the center, as you can see, with rear heated screen and recirculation. Up to the MMI unit, as you can see, we've got USB and auxiliary capability. In radio, we've got DAB and FM radio. Let's just back out to home. In media, we've got, again, USB and auxiliary, as we've been over already. Full telephone prep, Bluetooth telephone prep, and we've got satellite navigation as well. Back over to the driver's side, we're finished off with this leather-bound multifunction steering wheel, and as we've already stated, the cruise adjustment on the wheel. And then up to the um, dashboard now, just try and get the uh, mileage to show up for you. Might have to switch the car off, there we go. 50,419 miles. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions about this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thanks again.